Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days and five minutes. One more day to get through with regards to humidity and hot temperatures. We have another cold front that is going to be uh, approaching and moving through here late tonight or tomorrow morning. It briefly gets hung up and then it will move along and we will finally see uh, in improving weather conditions and a nosedive in the relative humidity. One thing that's going to happen is starting tomorrow, and especially for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, given where the high is going, we are going to see temperatures in many areas having a really tough time getting back to the 80 degree mark. And I think that is going to be most enjoying, but more importantly, it's the humidity that is going to be quite low. So let's start with the risks for later today. And those risks involve thunderstorms. We have the Storm Prediction Center uh, showing a marginal risk of severe weather. I'm not 100% convinced that this is going to get beefed up a little bit. The SPC uh, it seems to always uh, beef it up a little as we go into the actual day. But uh, the, um, the, the, the circumstance with this particular front and the uh, the trough that's with it is not overly supportive for some, for a big round of severe weather. Uh, I thought yesterday's uh, trough was a, uh, perhaps uh, had a little bit more potential to it, but even that one uh, wound up. Uh, there were some strong thunderstorms, but it didn't go crazy. Uh, so I'm thinking that there may be some isolated cells to deal with it today, but we're not going to suddenly adventure into uh, widespread severe weather. Here's our cold front that is approaching. And uh, we look and look closely, you can see the dew points are generally all in the 70s ahead of it. These are 5 a.m. temperatures, but we jump to the other side of the front and we've got temperatures in the 60s and 50s and those dew points down in the 50s and 40s. And that's the air that's coming in here uh, beginning uh, tomorrow. And on the uh, high temperatures, as I said, for today, it's going to be a hot one. We're looking at upper 80s to lower 90s from northeastern Virginia right up through southern New England. We will have ample daytime heating today. And I think that uh, it, might, it may actually in some places be a bit more than what it was yesterday because the wind is going to be coming in from the west. Uh, the air is a little cleaner after yesterday's upper trough went through. So perhaps the daytime heating might uh, add a little firepower to some of these thunderstorms. But take a look at uh, the high temperatures for Friday. We're only talking about readings in the upper 70s to around 80. And in some cases, when you go up into northeastern Pennsylvania and up through the Hudson Valley, you're talking about low and middle 70s. Saturday just looks absolutely delightful. We're seeing temperatures everywhere uh, running in the mid 70s to around 80 for highs. Sunday, the one question I have for Sunday is uh, it, will there be some cloud cover because of the wind coming in from off the ocean? I think we have to consider the possibility. There's also a weak upper trough that's going to be swinging through. So there might be uh, clouds mixed with sun on Sunday. And look at the temperatures. They get really kept contained in the low to mid 70s. Monday, mid to upper 70s for highs. And Tuesday of next week, that's when we maybe uh, we get back to the 80 degree mark or so. But after today, we're done with 90s, I think. For quite a while. So let's take a look at how this plays out. We do have our front that's coming through today. Uh, we're not seeing uh, the uh, models really doing a whole lot with it, but it gets hung up briefly right overhead. And then it moves out to the east tomorrow morning. Have to wait for a little wave to develop to give the front the final kick. And then it moves out high pressure, that nice high that's up uh, in uh, north of Lake Huron in control. Uh, the winds here are going to be from the northeast right through the weekend. Now, there's a wave that's going to develop on that front off the North Carolina coast. It's far enough south where I don't think it's problematic. But because we have the flow coming in from off the ocean, uh, I, I think we're going to have to concern ourselves with the possibility that there may be a little bit of cloud cover here on Sunday. I'll just show you on the jet stream how it plays out. So here's, uh, here's the um, setup for today. And, of course, the upper trough, the, this is, is lagging to the west. Most of the energy is, 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 is out to the west, and it's going to swing through here tomorrow. Uh, that's when you finally get that front to push on through. And then you get this little piece that just kind of hangs back there.
for Saturday night into Sunday and sits overhead. And that's why I'm thinking that we may have uh, some cloud issues to deal with. Otherwise, we're going to have some great uh, some great weather for developing later in the day on Friday, improving weather conditions from west to east on Friday with decreasing clouds and increasing sunshine. Saturday looks good. Lots of sunshine everywhere. Let's call it a mix of sun and clouds for Sunday. More uh, sun perhaps as you go north and, and more cloud cover as you go south of, uh, say, draw a line right across central New Jersey and cut Pennsylvania in half from east to west. And then Monday, it's back to uh, some sunshine and uh, some uh, cloud cover. And for the rest of today, uh, it's a hot, humid day. Temperatures up in the upper 80s and low 90s. Watch for some late afternoon or evening thunderstorms. We'll keep you abreast of all the severe weather developments, if there are any, uh, later on today. So watch for additional website posts. And don't forget my uh, live stream on YouTube tonight, probably at around 7 o'clock Eastern time. Have a good day, and thanks for being here on Weather in 5.